Abracadabra, and welcome to Cooking Corner with Giuseppe Crimi Roli. And this week, we're going to be making Easter bread. All right, folks, so what you're going to need in terms of ingredients are the following. You're going to need six cups of flour. You're going to need one cup of milk. You're going to need three teaspoons of baking powder. You're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're gonna need a cup of sugar. You're gonna need one stick of butter. You're gonna need some non-pareils. These are just a little rainbow ball sprinkles. And you're gonna need a half dozen eggs. All right, so in terms of hard work, you're gonna need the following. You're gonna need a fork. You're gonna need two bowls, one of which should be microwave safe. You're gonna need some tin foil or aluminum foil, whatever you wanna call it. You're gonna need a baking sheet, a large one preferably. You're gonna need various measuring implements, cups and spoons. And finally, you're gonna need your largest mixing bowl. All right, folks, as always, step one is gonna be wash your hands. So go ahead, turn your water on, stick your mitts underneath, get them a little wet, a little moist, squirt some of that lovely clean juice on them, and then rub your hands together, the back, the fingers, the knuckles in between, you got it. Stick them back underneath and wash them all off. When you're done, flick your fingers out, Turn the water off, find yourself something to dry your hands on, and then you're ready to continue cooking. All right, folks, moving on to step number two, you're gonna do the following. You're gonna add your flour, sugar, and baking powder to your large bowl, and make sure you do it in that order. So what I've got here are six pre-measured out cups of flour. Go ahead and add that to your bowl. Following that, you're going to take your one cup of sugar and add that to the bowl. And for your final ingredient, you're going to take your baking powder, your three teaspoons of baking powder, and add that to the bowl. Alright folks, moving on to step number three. It's going to be the following. You're going to add your eggs and your butter, but before you do that, you gotta take your sugar, baking powder, and flour mixture and make a well in it. So go ahead and take a finger, a little phalange of yours, and make a little well in the center that you're gonna put the eggs and butter into, like so. Get a little close up over here on that. Nice little well, perfect. Make sure it's got high edges, a deep bottom, Fantastic. All right. Now we're gonna melt our butter and crack our eggs. And then we'll crack and beat the eggs. All right, now that we've got our five beaten eggs and our one stick of melted butter, we're gonna add them to the well in the powdery mixture. So go ahead and take your five eggs and add them to the well. And then you'll take your stick of melted butter and you'll add that to the well. And then, using your mitts, you can start to mix it up. All right, folks, now that your butter and eggs are inside your well of flour and other ingredients, we're gonna move on to step number four, which is gonna be preheating your oven. So, take this opportunity to step back, head to your oven, hit bake, Set it to 350 degrees and hit bake again to start the heating process. All right, folks, the oven's heating up. We've got our well here. 
Now we're gonna add the next two ingredients, which is gonna be milk and vanilla. We call this step number five. Go ahead and add one cup of milk. Just a steady hands over here. One cup of milk. And then you're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. All right, moving on to step number six, we're gonna start beating this mixture together with our hands. But before we do that, you've gotta put tin foil on your baking sheet, just like this. All right, your baking sheet is covered in tin foil. Your oven is heating up. It is time to get down to the nitty gritty dough making. So roll up your sleeves and get ready because we're gonna start mixing this together with our meaty mitts. This is called step number six. Go ahead and take your hands and start getting into that mixture and mixing it together as a dough. Make sure you get on the bottom so nothing stays there. Mix it around, get it off the sides even. It's a little messy, but nothing good comes without sacrifice. All right, folks, now we're on to step number seven, which is gonna be take your dough, break it into three equal portions, and braid it. So, it might have been hard to start kneading your dough at first, and it might have seemed a little crumbly, but if you just keep working at it, you'll get a nice little burrito looking bastard like this. So, you're gonna take this, put it on the counter, and start rolling it out into a log. Once you've got it into a nice loggy shape, you're gonna go ahead and cut it into three equal portions, like this. Now you're gonna take your individual little logs and you're gonna roll them out till they're bigger and thinner. All right, we've got three thereabouts equal logs. We're gonna take them, put them on your sheet, and braid them together. This is where you people with long hair are gonna have a distinct advantage. So go ahead and take your logs and put them out here on the tray. Bring the tops of them together like this probably. And then do the old three man weave. And bring it together at the end. Clump it up a little bit. You can use a little bit of water to hold it together on the end like this. Step number eight. It's gonna be put the egg wash on your loaf and then sprinkle on the sprinkles. All right, so an egg wash is really just one egg that we've beaten and then we're gonna take it and put it on the top here, all over the top, all good and stuff like that. If you have a, uh, it's like a pastry brush, if you have one of those, that's the most ideal way of doing this. You're gonna spread it all over the top it's like a fine coating of egg. It's like an egg, it's like an egg glazing for the bread, if you will. You're gonna cover the whole thing in it. Make sure you use the entire egg wash. It, it was one egg that I just kind of cracked and beat up. Apply it to the top. And once you've done that, take your sprinkles. Open the little guys up. and absolutely go to town with them. All right, I may have done a little bit much, but you get the general idea. All right, folks, now we're on to step nine. So you're gonna take your loaf, cover it in your non-pareils and your egg wash, stick it in the oven at 350 degrees, and leave it there for 40 minutes. All right, let's do it. Take this. Open up the old oven, stick it in there, and we'll remember that at 8.40, it's got to come out. All right, folks, your bread's been in for just about 40 minutes. If it's looking done to you, it's looking done to me. So now we're going to move on to the final step, which is going to be plating. Go ahead, 
turn your oven off, open the door, grab something heat resistant, hold on to that tan and pull the loaf out. It is looking sweet. Close the door. And now you're gonna let it cool. And when it's all done, you can plate it. All right, folks, I wanna thank you for coming and watching my cooking show on Giuseppe's Cooking Corner. If you have anything you'd like to see on the show, uh, leave it down in the comments. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, let me know, you never know. Uh, happy Easter and bye-bye now. Doesn't matter to me, Kara. As long as you can see all the ingredients, it's fine.